This is what I've been missing out on. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Is this a goosey? Is this what I've been missing out on? Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. This story is going to be good because I'm hungry. Mm. Guys. Huh? Huh? Guys, the truth is this, anyone that tests Nigerian food would definitely have a unique review. Like, I've never seen any foreigner that tests Nigerian food that says no. I have been missing out because of my fear of trying certain foods. No way. It's too good. So it has assorted meat. That one, Bengija, was a trotter. I think pork trotter. And then this one, Ngati goat meat. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. Hello, you welcome to my channel. I'm your baby girl. <laughs> you got a Nigeria. Hello, guys, you welcome to my channel. I'm your girl. People girl. like this lady, eh? Instead of you to, to go, you welcome to my channel. So, this adorable. Hello, my beautiful people. You welcome to my channel. I'm your girl, just cheesy. If you're just seeing me for the first time, you're welcome. Kindly subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell, like, and share my videos. So, guys, in today's video is about a beautiful South African lady who is trying the Nigerian egusi soup with pounded yam. Like she's trying it for the first time, and also pepe soup. Guys, this was actually her first time testing egusi soup with pounded yam and pepe soup. Like you really need to see her reaction. Her reaction was everything. Like her reaction. Oh my goodness. Like I really like it, guys, to see this video. I discovered that. South Africans actually enjoy eating Nigerian dishes. I don't know if you're getting it. It's like they love eating Nigerian dishes. And I would be glad if I can also get a South African restaurant so I can also test um South African cuisines. But I'm hoping to make some chakalaka and dombolo someday, right? So guys, quietly sit back and watch this lady. I like I just wanted to see her reaction. Like her reaction is everything. Her reaction is heavenly. <laughs> I love her reaction. I'm so hungry. <laughs> So guys, I got two different types of soups and this is the igusi soup and this one I think is the pepper soup. So, oh, and then I asked for some powdered yam because I saw that a lot of people would, would eat it with powdered yam. And then they also gave me something that looks like what us South Africans would associate it with as uh, fat cakes, makuenya, um, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm really excited about that. Oh. Mm. Mm, mm. So now, guys, I used to go to Monash, and back when I was there, there were a lot of, obviously, uh, foreign students, but a large uh, quantity was from Nigeria, and we'd always smell, in like grade four, you'd smell like the students would be cooking, and you'd be hungry. You wouldn't know what you're smelling, but it smells really good, so I'm totally excited to try this, and I don't know if you guys will be able to see, I really try to make sure the angle would work. So guys, this is the Igusi stew right here i don't know if you guys can see it it looks so good and this is a pounded yam this one looks a bit more like a stew actually and as far as i know the igusi is it came with goat's meat and then this would be the pepper soup which came with um assorted types of meat and then the pounded yam as far as i know you're not actually supposed to chew it you're supposed to swallow it um i don't think the texture is the same as up but i would like to think it is i'm not entirely sure i'm so excited to try it it's actually unbelievable so this is what the pounded yam looks like just touching it off the bat it gives me the texture of um what we call itombolo type of thing this is what i've been missing out on mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. is this a goosey is this what i've been missing out on oh my god mm. okay okay Mm, the story is going to be good because I'm hungry and I'm going to be eating. This is going to be a mukbang you guys are going to be happy with. Okay, now I'm going to try the pepper soup. The pepper soup has got a watery texture in comparison to the igusi soup. And I think it's obviously because it's a pepper soup. And it was a bit more expensive than the igusi. Mmm. 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 No, guys. No, man. No. Mm -mm. Yes. 
i use. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys what I definitely know I can taste in here is oats meat and some type of other meat that I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna eat it. Ooh, and I like so one of the things that I asked from them is not to make it as spicy as they normally do. And the chef, who's actually a female, Chef Fuju, check her out. I'm going to drop her details down below as well. She was like, no, I know you don't like spicy food, so I made it a bit mild. And it's the perfect amount of spice. Guys, mm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. huh? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Guys, the truth is this, anyone that tests Nigerian food would definitely have a unique review. Like, I've never seen any foreigner that tests Nigerian food that says no. Like, all the people I've seen, all the people I've been seeing on this internet that has been testing Nigerian food, they always have unique experience about Nigerian food. Nigerian food is everything. Like, the taste is heavenly. The taste is everything. I don't know if you've, if you've tested um, Nigerian jollof before. Oh my goodness. The taste of Nigerian jollof is just like heaven on earth. Like guys, you can't resist Nigerian jollof. And this is delicious egusi soup. The rate South Africans are actually eating Nigerian food, especially egusi soup. Like especially egusi soup. Oh my goodness. Like they love egusi soup so, so much. They love egusi soup so, so much. And I've been wondering, is it only egusi soup that um one can easily find in South Africa? At least we have egusi soup, okra soup, vegetable soup, afan soup, omono, like a whole lot of them. But I've discovered that um South Africans, they prefer egusi soup. But I don't really know if is actually that they prefer egusi soup or if it's only egusi soup that they normally see in South Africa. I am so hungry. My bed is full of papers because I just submitted an assignment. So I'm about to try egusi soup. So this is Samalina. They call it pop. It's so hot. So this is the package. As you guys go to take. Let me just turn the camera again. Come this. So this is it. Yes. Am I excited? I don't know. I like I've been skeptical because it just didn't look nice for me. So I'm very hungry. So it has to bang. Like it has to bang. Okay. I don't have money. Like, this is my last money. Let me go get a book. Okay, by the way, it doesn't have any weird smell because Nina Nyana is an Ivan Nyan. Nyan. Thank you. Ooh. I don't know if I should try it, but let me just try it with them. I pray I like it. Oh my God. God, you know my heart. been missing out guys because honestly Shem, it doesn't look appetizing especially these bits i don't know bits of what it's giving my food a voice but i think if you like spinach you will definitely definitely enjoy this sana then there's meat ah it's so hot so hot damn let me just eat from the top hmm Let me try the meat. Mm. I have been missing out because of my fear of trying certain foods. No way. It's too good. So it has a sorted meat. That one, Bengita, was a trotter. I think pop trotter. And then this one, Nati goat meat. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Okay, um, I bought I bought this from Africana Lounge because where I normally buy um Nigerian food in Bram, they will only have it tomorrow, and I wanted to taste it today. 
um also next i want to try the banga soup please if you know of any place that sells banga soup around chovic cbd please let me know please i don't mind the one thing that i don't like is plantains like well, maybe the ones that i tasted were not nice but hey right. this hmm. my dear this is your sign to go try nigerian food today okay oh damn guys it's so amazing watching south africans eat nigerian food like it's so so amazing like the way they enjoy eating nigerian food as if they have been eating it from childhood right that is to tell you that we have a unique food like nigerian food is so so unique like anyone who tastes this um food anyone who tastes whether it's a goosey soup okra soup bitter leaf vegetable a fan a dikai core if you ever taste nigerian food or is it even a jollof like nigerian jollof hey if you ever taste nigerian food you must have a very unique review to give like trust me i'm telling you the gospel truth Nigerian food is everything. So if you haven't tested Nigerian food, please kindly look for Nigerian food anywhere you are around the world. Look for Nigerian food, test this food, and let's hear your review. And so guys, if you haven't subscribed to my backup channel, please subscribe to my backup channel. Support your girl by hitting the subscribe button. And thank you so much for staying up to this moment. I still remain your girl just cheesy. Do not forget to drop your comments, like, and share my videos. I love you.